in this video I'm going to be looking at the ASP.NET uh, website debugging um, sometimes there are errors available in your web application and you need to find out where these errors are coming from for example and there are a few ways that you can use to debug your application so um, let me show you a few of these ways for example remember the last time when I uh, created this um, uh, drop down list item had um, I forgot to put the fruit in quotes so what happens is if you run an application when there's an error in the application when you haven't written the correct you get this little pop out that says there were build errors would you like to continue and run the last successful build if you click yes it's going to run the last successful build otherwise you can just say no so you can fix the error so if you click on no you get this error list so uh, this error list is very descriptive if you read it it says the name Hapo does not exist in the current context because uh, it's assuming that the Hapo is supposed to be um, maybe an instance of um, any of the controls but it's not there so that means uh, we have an error so uh, sometimes maybe if you have a really really large code long lines of code if you double click on this error it actually takes to the con uh, to the uh, uh, line where the error exists so you can just uh, fix it so it's very easy to find error in such way so as you can see now as you can see that uh, the error if I remove this last quote you can see that um, the errors have been populated is telling you a lot of uh, information here so that's why sometimes you can fix one error and get 30 error <laughs> like for example I'm trying to fix this error now I already got four because um, I haven't completed what I'm doing so if I put the last quote or oh, the errors disappear so now we can run our page successfully um, to let me delete this first to remember the first time you run your web page it asks you the first time you the first time you ever run your uh, project I mean a page inside your um, website you get a pop-up that ask you if you want to enable um, debugging and, uh, and we said yes so what happened is when you enable debugging inside your web.config file the system.web section the um, debugging will be set to true uh, enable debugging the debug is this true okay that's it compilation debug equals to true so um so because we've said the uh debug equals to true inside the web.config file that means every page that we run will be debugged so uh if you don't want to do that instead let me for example if i delete this let me cut this part so that uh, debugging is not enabled for our website anymore uh, web config file. Uh, I can't call it, can I? Compilation. Let me just go back to step. Right. I can't. I can only take out the uh, debug part. So that means our applications is not debugged anymore. Now, you see, that's why it's asking of if you want to enable debugging. If I say cancel the run without debugging so our page will be running without debugging and this is the this is how you want to put your website onto the internet you want to make sure that when you um, finally upload your website on the on online you want to make sure that you disable debugging because debugging yeah because we don't have page 2 that's how we get this error uh, because debugging 
you have a lot of problems with um, uh, performance issue because your website is going to be slow if you're nobody bugging in the uh, live um, so another way to enable debugging is inside the page itself so if we go back to this page if we go to the uh, page directive we can say we can enable debugging by setting debug to be equals to we can enable debugging and set it to be true so if we enable debugging to be true that means our applicate this website itself will be debugged so it's always going to ask me but um, I don't want to enable debugging inside a web.config file yet but this page is actually debugged on its own so so that's one way to uh, see to you know debug your application another thing you can do is uh, set a big breakpoint in your application if you set a breakpoint in application like I just did all you have to do is just uh, see this um, gray side of your application if you set a breakpoint as, for, as so it means that your application now let's say debug start debugging uh, let's modify the web.configure because it's giving us headache now what happened is I'll show you what will happen N you, you will get this and uh, you have these options at the top step into step over step out so let's step into each one. so everything will be happening your codes will be executed one by one so um, I don't think you get a point there so let me start from the beginning let me set the breakpoint to be here so let me remove this one and now let's uh, let's debug our application um, it's going to show you the steps that your application takes to run so that means uh, it's actually telling you page that is post back is false so we can step into it so it's going to then you see this, this these are the steps that your application the this page runs from if statement then it jumps to this line then jumps to the next line that means it had this so so if we step over um this won't make sense to you now unless i have methods that that are being called so Uh, don't worry about this now I'll show you how to use this properly in the future so let's just get up here and um, another way you can um, get information is using trace and information remember we used this trace before if you set trace equals to true we get uh, we get uh, more information appended to the bottom of the page that we've been so we can so that we know exactly what is going on so let me show you what I mean you see uh, there's a there's a method there's a there's a method that you can use with the trace information and then this method is called uh, uh, the one of the trace so you can see exactly how the application is executed I can say trace dot one then I can say um, Apple is added so we get this information in a trace so trace dot one um, orange is added and so on you get the idea so what happened is if you want to see the steps of execution of your a code you can use this trace does one which take a string message then uh, when you run your application you will be able to see that information at the bottom of um, I as you can see here the trace information when the app is added after the begin load this trace information is added another trace information is added then end load so as you can see 
uh, we get extra information and we get this uh, the view state byte size of the um, what's it called uh, the drop down list you remember the view state that we talked about the last time so these are the way to trace your application to see if there's any error inside the application so um, I think that's it for now um, I'm still going to be because um, I haven't really explained how the um, breakpoint works when we get uh, into dealing with errors and um, exception when uh, we're dealing with errors in big time then I'm going to be talking about how to use the um, breakpoint so you can trace the um, we can get the problems that is occurring on your application so if you have any question do not forget to uh, leave me comments on my blog thank you